What's going on guys? Alex here, back at you with another episode of the... We gave each other a bunch of money and we had to come up with a full gun setup. Yep. Uh, this is the $1,200 challenge, which again was suggested in the original video where we had the... Uh, I titled it the best true beginner setup, I think. Um, and it was basically uh, what would we would now call the $300 challenge. Yep. Um, this is, I think, is going to be a long-standing thing as new products come out and replace products. I think we could certainly revisit these episodes and make new ones. I think that might be a cool thing to do in the future. Yep. Um, so this is the $1,200 challenge. We each had $1,200 to get a complete setup to our heart's desire of what we would honestly go out and pick to shoot. Obviously, we kind of limited ourselves to stuff that's here in our pro shop. It's the dead of winter, so our inventory is a slight bit lacking. Um, but I think overall we're both pretty competently happy. I'm, ha I'm happy with what I have. Yeah, I'm happy with what I have as well. Um, I would definitely not um, hesitate to recommend this kind of setup on the budgets that we gave ourselves. Yep, I agree. So, uh, without any further ado, uh, <clears throat> I went first last time. So, um, why don't you go ahead and take it away? Yep. So, I picked the Resurrection Autococker. Bold choice. Yeah. Big fan of the autocockers. Um, this is a solid gun, $550 price point. Um, it's great because you can't get an autococker nowadays. You can get them cheaper use on the used market kind of thing, Ms. but there's nothing but issues. Right. So when it comes to brand new, it's awesome. It comes with all good pneumatics on it, great regulator, on off, clamp and feed neck. Um, it's a mid block, so there's no back block on it. Yep. It's a great gun. Yeah, no, no arguments. Yeah, it um, comes with a six piece barrel kit. Which you have decided <laughs> to completely put aside. Yeah, I decided the die boom sticks shoot so nice <laughs> that I can justify spending it. I'm going to forgo the awesome six piece barrel kit it comes with and spend $180 on a barrel that's one size. Yes. Because it's such a good barrel. It is. It is a die carbon fiber boomstick. I, I can't. I'm not gonna blame you for it. Certainly. Yep. And it looks so good on the gun. It does look good. <laughs> uh, also for the loader, I went with the Spire. Um, I do love the Spire. I don't need the high speed of uh, a rotor on it. Um, so that's just a fine loader. Could have done a Revy. Could did a Revy, but as fast as I can shoot this thing, you know, I'm gonna be out shooting a loader. Listen to this, guys. So, <laughs> Dude, that's PSP ready now. That's PSP According ready. According to the new rules, that is PSP ready. <laughs> uh, for a tank, I've just got a standard gray Empire 68. Um, can't go with Ninja with this gun because for some reason, these ASAs do not like the ball bearing on the new... We have found that out many a time with people trying to come in here and buy either that gun and they have a Ninja tank or trying to buy Ninja tanks with that gun and the, the sniper as well. Same deal. Yeah. For some reason, they just don't... I don't yep. know what, that just don't work properly. It doesn't depress the ball right. bearing in far enough, I believe. Yep. So, but then again, there's nothing wrong with the Empire. No, there's nothing. I mean, Bottle, there's, nothing there's nothing wrong with the reg. Um, I do like ninja regs more, but on there's no nothing wrong. Now, on a mech auto cocker, you're really not going to notice the difference anyway. Yeah. So, this is my gun setup for a mask. I just went with the Proflex. Something a little bit subtle. Don't want to be seen in the woods or anything. No, that would uh, be bad. Um, this is a great mask. I use pretty much the same mask in real life. Yep. Uh, different color. So, I love this mask. There you go. Um, they come with two lenses nowadays, too. Yeah, they come so with that. So, clear and a smoke. Yep. So, for a pack, I just went again with the Proto. I love... I, I, I you know, I can't fault you at all. I love no. the Proto pack that much. Yeah, thirty-five dollar pack, and one of the best packs out there. Yeah, I absolutely agree. There's a reason that I still use it. Yeah, I agree. And then I work at a I work at a pro shop. I have for years. I have certainly plenty of money to go buy myself a super nice pack. Yep. I still use the Proto Pack. I like it that much. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with them. They're great. Yeah. Um, I had eight dollars left over, so I bought a thread saver to protect my brand new tank. Solid choice. And that leaves me with three bucks. Can't really buy anything. For Can't buy bucks. anything for three bucks. You can buy yourself some hot dogs. Yes, I could. 
Do you want to go any further? <laughs> That's it. All right. <laughs> okay. So we'll see what you got. All right. So for my $1,200 challenge, uh, I went with the more tournament style, uh, which, well, I guess if you're playing pro PSP, these are both technically tournament style now. <laughs> um, but I went with the Electro Pneumatic. I went with a die reflex rail. Um, Yes, this is a 2014 colorway. We don't have any of the 15s in the store, so it's the same exact gun. They didn't change anything except for the colors. So it's a Reflex Rail 2015 for $550, same price as the uh, Resurrection Auto Cocker. Yep. Um, I just, I really like, it's, you know, it's almost the same as like an older DM. It's like a DM8, DM7. Yep. You know, it's got the same, it's got the same frame, same grips, same trigger. It's got, I mean, it's got a better trigger. Right. than what DMs used to come with. It's got the Iron Man Reach, um, you know, the Hyper 3 and the bolt system, and the feed neck and the barrel. Um, you know, I really, it's a die ultralight. It's a, the better version of the die ultralight frame, not this new garbage. Right. Yeah. The fatter frame with the bigger grips that defeats the purpose. Yeah, the true The true ultralight. ultralight frame, which I, is probably my favorite frame of all time in paintball. Oh yeah, of it's super comfortable. It's so comfortable. And then it's got the reach trigger on it, which is brilliant. Um, so with the loader, I also went with the Spire, um, just a standard Spire 200, um, same deal as you. I just got matching red instead of black. Uh, for my tank, I went with a Ninja Super Light 68 tank because this is a spoolie, so I'm going to need that extra air. Um, but you know, I'm a smaller guy, so. Um, you know, I really need to limit my tank size or else my setup, I can't have it super, super long. So I went with the Ninja Super Light 68 and uh, standard reg, no pro reg on it. Um, you know, on this gun, I really don't see the need for the pro reg. It's right. not a super big deal. Um, you know, even screwing it in just this particular tank, just the threads just happen to line up just fine where it doesn't get in the way anyway. Uh, I was also able to put a tank butt, an exalt tank butt on here, which I probably my favorite tank grippy thingy. Oh yeah, absolutely. Category, tank grippy thingies. <laughs> Definitely my favorite in that category. Uh, so yeah, there's uh, there's my setup, my gun setup anyway. Uh, let's see here, with my mask, uh, I gotta go with my tried and true clear favorite right now, uh, front runner V-Force Grills. Um, I just got standard uh, black to save myself a few bucks. Custom color would have been cool, but I saved $30. And because of that, and a little bit of saving other places, I was able to buy myself a nice HDR lens for my grills, which is a huge deal. I mean, it makes a huge difference, I think. Oh yeah. Um, so with that, with the pack, uh, pretty obvious at this point, I as well, again, went with my Proto 3 Plus pack with three pods, standard 140 pods. I mean, again, I, I don't know. I don't think we really need to harp on the Proto Pack. I, I love the pack. Yeah. Um, so with my last little scraps of money, I was able to buy the Exalt Spire Fast Feed, obviously for my Spire, so I don't have to use the lid. I get a nice, uh, a nice Exalt Fast Feed, not a really cheap garbage one. Yeah. Um, and it even comes with a rain cover, so it's absolutely perfect. And then I was also able, with my very last bits of money, to buy a thread saver and a fill nipple cover for my tank to protect those vital areas, which I think is, uh, you know, that's why you grabbed one as well, because yep. it's those small things that, you know, you get into this caliber of equipment, you really do, should take a look at taking care of your equipment on and off the field. Yeah, and especially like the, um, the nipple cover is most important. If you're gonna be running around in the dirt, yeah. that gets inside. It's going to chew up O-rings yeah. inside um, the fill, and then now you need to replace your fill. It's like now six, eight bucks or something. Now there's stuff starting to cycle through your gun, and it's small and minute, but it builds up, and it scratches things. and Goes through your regulator. Goes through the noise, all that kind of fun stuff. Yep. So all of that, and I had $2 left over. Not bad. So I had three. I can't buy as many hot dogs as you. That's true. <laughs> Uh, so that's um, there. There you go. That is the our personal option about um, the twelve hundred dollar challenge. I think it kind of drifted away from the first video in which we did uh, what we honestly thought would we would recommend to people looking to buy right. the best beginner setup, which I think was an appropriate way to do that video because 
in three hundred dollar beginner setup, you know, that's a very common thing. People are always looking for that. Yeah, they don't know what they want yet. Exactly. That that does tend to be that type of person, like you said, that they, they're not quite sure what they actually want or what they actually need at that point. Yeah. Um so that was more of a recommendation. This is what we recommend you I would recommend you to buy. Whereas the past two videos, the six hundred dollar one, this twelve hundred dollar one and the next upcoming videos is definitely more of our personal opinion of what we would buy and we would like to play. Well, the $600 video, it's also kind of um, recommending for somebody who doesn't really know what they want. Yeah, also, I, yeah, I, get, I could see that. Yeah, the $600 yeah. one, yeah, because the gun is still pretty much limited to like something in the 300 range. So, yeah. you know, if you're looking electro, that's beginner electro range. Right. So, yeah, I can definitely see that. Yeah. Um, this one definitely I, is purely what we want. Fortunately, what we want. Because also, you don't really see a lot of people coming into the shop saying, I have $1,200, what should I get? Right, right, it's right. More, most of the time, it's I have $1,200, this is what I want. Exactly. So yeah. that's what we did. This is what we want. Yeah, for $1, you know, somebody coming in and looking at, I want to buy a whole setup, and they right off the bat come up to me and be like, I got $1,200, bucks. i go, I'm going to buy a whole setup. You know, do you want, at that point, they're not like, you know, what do I need to play paintball? You know, a million times, if that happened a million times, it probably only happened one time where that guy <laughs> would come in and be like, what do I need to play paintball? Yeah, I'll spend 1200 bucks. Um, you know, nine times out of 10, that's gonna be, yeah, um, you know, I could probably use your personal opinions on a couple things I've been deciding on. Right. I think that's where- Steer me in the right direction. Yeah, I think that's really where this, this uh, video, uh, our options in this video are really coming into play here. Um, so yeah, we got uh, my die reflex rail with Spire Ninja Super Light tank, Exalt tank butt, grills with an HDR lens, um, the Spire Exalt uh, feed gate, proto pack, and some pods, as well as a thread saver nipple cover uh, over here. The Empire 6845, the Spire 200, um, the Empire Resurrection, the die boomstick, the yeah, the lime green. GFG Proflex. Proflex and the Proto 3 pod pack with pods and a thread saver. And a thread saver. And we both saved a couple. We were both just a hair under $1,200. This is miraculous to me that How 12, easy. here's $1,200 and we're both scrimping and saving at the last second and we're just barely, I mean, most of the time when we were setting these up, it went over. Oh yeah, it went over twelve hundred bucks, and we had to scrimp and save, and we're just two and three dollars short. Yeah, with twelve hundred dollars, how is that? How does that happen? Yeah, the biggest thing I kind of wish I had was a tank butt because it is pretty slippery. Yeah, and I could have had a lot more. You could have had a lot more if, if you I just didn't buy a hundred and eighty dollar barrel for to the gun. replace the six piece barrel kit that it comes yeah. with. But I love this barrel so much that I was willing to sacrifice the I... slip on the shoulder and a speed feed. <laughs> for this barrel. So that's just my opinion, that I think the gun will shoot probably 76 times better with this barrel. Just a quick number off the head, 76% better with this barrel. So. That's wrong, can it be seven less? No, it's, uh, <laughs> no, it's 76%. Uh, I'm pretty sure my math is solid on that. Okay. I'm not gonna, <laughs> not gonna try and look that up by any means. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that that was uh, that's pretty much it for the twelve hundred dollar challenge. Yeah, um, they go so quick. They do go really quick. This is the, the, I mean, there's not. These are our personal opinion videos. I mean, we kind of talked about why individual products are ready. I mean, you guys have kind of got the point and driven home with quite a few of these products that are repeatedly appearing in these videos. That this is just what we really really like. Yep. And I think in you know the first time we introduced them, we really hammered out why. And at this point, it's just like, yep, I still have grills. We still have proto packs. Um, we're still using Exalt tank grips. Yep. You know that kind of that kind of thing. So uh, yeah, that's that's it. Yep. <laughs> I don't have anything else. So I hope again, as always, if you have found some kind of weird, twisted entertainment by watching this video, I'm sure we would both very much appreciate if you hit the like button right below i think it's pretty much on the bottom right hand corner of this video screen i, I don't know so. if i want it if it able to push no i need to go this way so it's the bottom right hand corner it's of this not video. over here no it's over here so it's over there it's over there it might be here no i think that's where the play button is i think play button's here no 
Which way? It's over here because it's mirrored. Oh. It'd be over there for us if we were watching it, but they're watching. Oh, I'm usually watching it. There you go. That's what it is. There you go. As these people are now no longer watching. Well, make sure you <laughs> make sure you click the like button. And I'd very much appreciate it if you guys click the like button as well. I'm sure all of you have already pressed pause and moved on to the next video at this point. I would have too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> So uh, thanks again for joining me on this uh, miraculous, let's go spend $1,200 in my mind setup. And uh, I think we're going to be coming back pretty soon with another one. Yep. All absolutely. right. So thanks for joining me. Yep. And uh, that's all we got. So we will see you guys next time. Have a good day.